Uh, Francesco Geronimo has since notched up 13 years' experience in the industry and is now research manager for European Consumer Telecoms at IDC. Really good to talk to you. Thanks for good coming morning. in. Nokia, it's lost market share to Apple. It's lost market share to uh, the Android handsets. Is this decline for Nokia terminal? No. Uh, in my opinion, the new strategy they have with Microsoft can reverse this current situation. Basically, Nokia was the king of user experience 10 years ago. They lost it to Apple, they lost it to uh, Google um, devices, but with the new platform that Microsoft released a year ago, we do believe they can reverse the, the, the situation. But it's got to be fairly spectacular product to reverse that decline, isn't it? What sort of things should they be doing? Yeah, definitely. Uh, Nokia recently launched one device running in a, in a different platform, the N9, uh, which is a beautiful device. It has the best hardware that can, not, that can a manufacturer uh, develop. And if they manage to bring the same user experience uh, to this device, they will definitely be able to uh, launch and to be, um, to be a, a strong uh, contender to the smartphone segment. Now, we're, we're always talking in rather poor terms about Nokia, but we do forget that it is the world's biggest handset maker still. But even at the lower end of the market, you are seeing that squeeze now yeah. by India by China, right? Yeah, definitely. Nokia still is one the biggest uh, volume maker in the world and still still is a very strong brand. We cannot forget that, which is, plays a strong role. But in the even in the feature phone segment, they are being squeezed in the in the emerging markets by companies like Samsung, like Huawei, like ZTE, where um, price is is quite quite strong and when we look at the premium side of the feature phones with the, the when consumers pick those devices they have already an alternative from low-end smartphones uh, so what's the point of buying a, a high-end feature phone when they can buy a smartphone for the same price uh, you started your career in Nokia's R&D yes. department how many how many years ago uh, ten years ago. Ten years ago. Yeah. What was it like back then when Nokia was really king of the castle? It must have been a very exciting time. It was a very exciting time indeed. Um, Nokia was was leading the industry. Nokia was the the king of the user experience, the king of the hardware, and it's still somehow. But they manage. Um, they they didn't manage to uh, to follow the trend. They were quite late understanding the trends, and that was key for this this decline. What was to blame, do you think, for for not? getting on to the smartphone market. What was the number one reason? Just because of the corporate culture that was in Nokia? When a company is a market leader with a very strong market share, they always believe they have it all right. So they don't need to quickly adapt to their competitors and to, uh, to, comp to devices like the I Apple's iPhone and to Google's Android devices. So they took quite a while to understand the trend because they always believe that their strong brand, their st strong logistics will be enough uh, to continue uh, being the leader. Didn't happen n because Apple changed the industry for one single reason, they change the user experience. They change the way people use smartphones. They gave people exactly what they wanted. Exactly. Francesca Jerome, I'm really grateful to you. Thank Thanks you very much.